All right, we're going to get right into this and start talking about the New York Giants offseason. As everybody knows, the Giants started 5-0 and then limped to an 8-8 eight eight finish. Everybody wants to blame ex-defensive coordinator Bill Sheridan for the problems we had, and almost everybody would be right. The offense was the number 8 ranked offense in the NFL last season, and although that obviously can be improved, that's still pretty good to be in the top 10. The bottom five defense is what killed us. Bill Sheridan was a terrible defensive coordinator, and the team quit on him. Nobody wanted to play for him. That's seen in the way OCU Manura talks, and other players have talked about how happy they are that he's gone. We've brought in Buffalo's Perry Thiel, who's a cover two guy to run our defense, and the fans and players alike should be very excited to see what we have going into this season. People also want to blame our safeties for the problems that we had. Those are Michael Johnson and C.C. Brown. Truth be told, neither one of them is a starting caliber player, and I'm very glad that both of them will be off the field this year. C.C. Brown is gone. He was our strong safety. Hopefully Kenny Phillips, who could be a stud, is coming back from that nasty knee injury he had early in the season, and we signed Entrell Roll from the Arizona Cardinals to come in and be our free safety. Now, I like Roll a lot. He's a good player. He was a below-average corner, but he's an above-average safety. He's a ball hawk. He walks away with a lot of interceptions, but he does struggle in coverage sometimes. I'm hoping that this new defensive coordinator can come in and turn him around and turn him into this stud Pro Bowl caliber player that he has the potential to be. Other than that, we signed Dion Grant from the Seattle Seahawks. He's a strong safety, and he's just absolute insurance just in case Kenny Phillips can't come back. He was, at one point in his career, an absolute playmaker, and he's aged now to the point where he may be the perfect fit for our defense because he can play cover two a lot as a safety in the backfield. You want to look at other places on our defense, obviously the front four needs some reworking. I'm personally not sure if OCU Manure will be back. He may be traded, he's been complaining, he's been whining, and we might be able to get a nice high draft pick for him, maybe a third or fourth rounder. I'm not really sure. We'll probably see next weekend during the draft. On the other side, Justin Tuck's an absolute stud, and we have Matthias Kiwanuka waiting in the wings. He could be a great starter, and he has shown a lot when he has been on the field. The interior of the defensive line has some problems. Chris Canty has been, was hurt all last year, so we're not really sure what we have in him. Rocky Bernard was an absolute bust signing. He was completely healthy all year and couldn't make it on the field. Barry Cofield is back. We tendered him. He's coming back. He had surgery on his knee, and we're hoping to have him go back to form the form that he was in before the 2009 season. Fred Robbins has aged and has moved on to the St. Louis Rams, and Jay Alford is coming back from a pretty significant knee injury. We'll see what he can do. It may take him a season or two to move on. The linebacking core is the one that most fans want revamped. We have Clint sent him on the strong side. He's an absolute beast of a pass rusher, and we're trying to make him into this player that he, where he could be a great cover guy as well in that sand position. On the weak side, we have Michael Bowley. We brought him in last season from the Atlanta Falcons, and he played okay last year. He has the potential to be a great player, and I'm hoping that playing on the weak side, he could be something real special. The hole, obviously, is in the middle. Antonio Pierce is gone. Jonathan Goff was in, and he played with mixed results. Sometimes I liked what I saw. Sometimes I didn't. A lot of people have us taking a linebacker in this draft, and I agree. The question just becomes, what linebacker will that be? And that is for all of you is a video for another time.